place. Uh, and we have created, we have created what our founders feared under the name elected despotism. Right? We go from one king to another king to another king, maybe we'll have a queen. Uh, so, you know, we are, we, we're likely to reach a point where it becomes harder and harder to get back <coughs> anything resembling a representative republic. Uh, and we lose what rights we have now. Um, so I, I think we, we have to fight before it's too late. Um, you know, you can, you can affect change now. Uh, if you get out the couch, off the couch, and, and do it, um, but at some point it becomes harder and harder. On that cheerful note, you know, the Phillies <laughs> might win the World Series. Uh, I'm going to get arrested. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> In March, there are peace activists planning in March to try to organize uh, what we should have long since done years ago, and that is shut down Washington, D.C., nonviolently. Yeah. Not, not on a weekend and not on one day, right. but repeatedly, Just, right. endlessly, yep. uh, in Can't March. I'll so. be glad to be part of that. Yep, <laughs> me too. Please do, please do, you know. I, I mean, but, but people don't have to wait till March. They don't have to come to Washington. There are congressional offices everywhere. Your congress member has an office near you. You know, talk to lawyers, be informed. Is it a federal building? Do they have higher criminal charges? What's, what's involved? But typically, there's nothing dangerous or traumatic or frightening about being arrested in your congress member's office. Uh, and if you and your friends go there, repeatedly and sit there and bring polls that show where constituents stand on health care or on any other issue or on issues that aren't even on their agenda. And you can commission polls and have them done. Uh, and, and you sit there and you don't leave and you, and you bring the media and you make your own media. Uh, you can have a big, big impact. You know, you don't start there. You start with phone calls and meetings and emails and faxes and, and but but, you know, we're dealing with life or death issues. It's not very hard to, to take three hour, hours out of your life and, and go cause an incredible disturbance uh, in your Congress member's office that forces stories into discussion that aren't being discussed, that forces them to change their positions. Um, and it, it's, you know, it, it's not, there's nobody guarantees success on anything, but, um, it's it's very